Good morning, everybody. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. And today, right now, I am going to share with you a whole bunch of new exciting collections from Stamperia. And I'm going to start with Amazonia. And there are just a ton of extras that come with this collection pack. But we're going to go through the pages really quick. And then I'm going to share with you some of the coordinating uh, elements that come as part of this collection. This is beautiful. Um, this is great paper for a safari. Look at that. I love these cut aparts. Um, it makes embellishing the album so easy. The colors are beautiful. It's always hard to tell in the video, but they're quite rich um, and vibrant. Uh, I really like this collection. It's very pretty. That's gonna make a very nice feature page. It's kind of a collage page. So you've got some elements that you can cut apart. Um, some more patterns and uh, I think that these make for great contrast on your pages these would be lovely cut apart and popped um, I like these tags too. the labels um, it makes uh, for interesting collage in your albums this paper to me is suitable for both 12 by 12 uh, traditional scrapbook layouts as well as um, doing mini albums I think you could do both just based on the scale of the patterns. I love this. <clears throat> I think I would probably figure out how to feature that on the cover. Okay, this is lovely, lovely. Lots of cut aparts. I could see doing little flaps with these or a waterfall. Double sided. Lots of pretty butterflies that could be fussy cut. This is a nice flower that could be fussy cut as well. Now, in addition to this, when I go through some of the other um, coordinating elements, you'll see there's lots of things that you can add um, without having to cut through your patterns here if you want to preserve the back sides. This is nice. I like these this size um, of a cut apart <clears throat> or a card topper, depending on how you want to use it. That's very pretty. Very pretty. And then there's a sloth in the tree. And then a page of cut aparts which is um, also the back cover. So you don't really have to make a choice on the front or back in terms of a pattern. And these actually would make very good page borders. Um, and when I use Stamperia, I use everything. I've been known to cut these strips off and use them as borders um, on my pages. So that is the Amazonia. And again, the colors are, I'm sure the video is not doing it a favor. So let's talk about elements that come with it. There are die cuts, and there's two different packs. And I'm trying to look and see what's the difference. I mean, this one has more in it. This looks like it's more of the birds. This looks like more of the plant life and animals. This one has 47 pieces. Oh, actually, it's the same. This has 48. And these, oh, these are the translucent ones. So it's hard to tell in the package, but they're actually made out of sort of a, a plastic um, vellum. Uh, and these are chipboard. So that's the difference between the two. And I like both. Um, I'm, I'm used to working with die cuts on chipboard and that dimension is, uh, is nice, but the translucency of these I think would be pretty interesting too. You can't really appreciate it because the back is colored. So you can't really tell how translucent they are just by looking at that. These are Prima butterflies, but we um, hand selected these to go with the collection um, and I think they would be a great accent to the album and it really goes with the colors in the album. We have the wooden shapes and we have more wooden shapes and more wooden shapes. Look at that. Can you believe it? This collection is just loaded. <laughs> and then lastly, we've got um, what I believe are stickers. Yeah. 20 stickers and these are so they're adhesive backed and they're on a chipboard so there there is going to be some dimension to them you just don't have to glue them down there's adhesive on them so that is all the beautiful little elements and then in addition to that i think julie has picked out some flowers that she thought might go with it Nope, I think this is it. And then I want to just pull that pack in one more time so you can just see how, how well all of these elements blend together. Isn't that gorgeous? So that is Amazonia. Now, in addition to the 12 by 12, um, there are 8 by 8. And the one thing I didn't show you is rice paper. We also have rice paper for this collection. Okay, 
I'm gonna get organized and we're gonna go through another one. Okay, next up is Passions from Stamperia. Isn't this beautiful? Everybody knows a dancer, right? Um, the Prima flowers that Julie um, curated for this collection are just gorgeous. There's a little, it's hard to tell because of the glare and I apologize, but it's pretty hard to get away from that without opening the package. But there's a little bit of this sort of clear glitter on here and it just looks perfect. So let's go through the pages. Oh my goodness, it's so feminine. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Lovely, lovely. And I like all the cut aparts. I always do a cut apart page um, with things that make it so easy to embellish. I love it. That's cute. I could see that being a spine. Lovely, lovely. That reminds me of the music collection. That's pretty. Oh, look at that. That's that's neat. I like that. Um, looking at this too, I think this is suitable for 12 by 12 traditional layouts, or um, I can easily see this in a mini album. I like these cut aparts. This is a nice size. Um, they make great flap toppers, and they're also perfect just as card toppers if you're a card maker. That's pretty. Lovely, lovely. You could see that on a pocket, you know, and you tuck something right behind it. Okay. It's pretty. Lovely. This is very feminine, uh, beautiful collection. These would make great fussy cut um, dimensional flowers on your on your cover. It's very pretty. Um, the images, especially these roses, is quite crisp, and um, I'm hoping it's coming through in the video. It's uh, that's not always the case, but it's very pretty. So that is passions, and again, uh, these are the prima flowers, and uh, nature lover, I think, is what the the flower is actually called, or maybe that yeah, nature lover is actually what the flowers are called if you're looking for them online. Now I'm showing you these collections in the order that they're going to appear on the website too, if you guys are looking for them. Okay, next up is Stamperia's, I think this is the most collections I've ever revealed at once, Stamperia's Threads. So if you have a seamstress in your family, this is perfect, and I do, that's my sister. She is very talented, and she would love this collection. I just love these flowers. I mean, I said flowers, I mean the scissors. So pretty. <laughs> So I'm, of course, seeing this at the same time you guys are, <laughs> and you can probably tell because I get so excited that I love this. I love these um, sketched scissors. They're beautiful. This is very pretty. Oh, I think I want to do something with this collection. So many papers, so little time. Love is the thread that binds us. I like it. This would be fun cut out. I see it. Nala, I need a minute, okay? Sorry about my dog in the background, guys. She wants to go out, and I've got the gardener here, so she can't. Because <laughs> she doesn't know how to behave. She'll run off down the street. This is lovely. Um, I'm really liking this collection. I, I can. It's, it's going to look very romantic when you're finished. But, oh, look at that. Oh, I can imagine Fussy cutting this and this. I like this too. I would maybe cut that out and use it as a, a badge somewhere. These are just made for, for cutting out, I tell you. This is great. This is beautiful. Okay, so that is threads. And did I show you the flowers already? I think she had a couple. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay. So the two flower collections that she chose for this are My Sweet, um, which is Prima, and Sweet Sunshine, which is the pink one. And these both go beautifully. Oh, I really like that. With um, this collection, they've got glitter on the edges, so they're pretty sweet, pretty cute. Look how lovely that's going to look. But both of these are going to work very nicely. These are available in the shop, like I said. Um, this is the 12 by 12 collection. Of course, we have the 8 by 8 and um, the next one up is, I'm out of order. We did Amazonia, we did Passion. Did we do Passions? Yes, Passion was the ballerina. And um, 
I did threads, but that was supposed to be last. So the next one up is at Atelier, and um, this is perfect for the artist in your family. Um, this is kind of focused on sort of elements that you would find inside a design studio, and I think that's a lot of fun. And I think if you're watching this, you can totally relate to this paper because you're my people, right? We love this stuff. Um, and if I could dedicate a whole house just to art supplies, I tell you. It would be pretty easy to do. This is very pretty. It's very rustic looking. Um, vintage, I guess, is a better word. I like it. <clears throat> That's neat. Neat, neat. This is pretty. Not my favorite. I always tend to shy away from people in images. Um, it's too specific for me, but like this, I love that. And and this is a gorgeous piece of paper. That's that's really pretty. That's so pretty too. Lots of cut aparts, or you could just make a nice collage paper there. Again, we've got card toppers in two different sizes, or I would use these on flaps in a mini album. I think these would, would look really neat cut apart, or you could just feature this on a page, and I might be tempted to open up these center, the center of the frames, and have either a photo or a secret message revealed underneath. You can always do something with the luggage. I love this paper. Love it. I think this might be my favorite page. I have all kinds of these in my studio, just samples, right, of inks and paints um, and just, you know, the, the sort of the effort you go through when you're doing your color theory. Pretty, pretty. It's nice. I like that. Oh, look at all these cut aparts. <laughs> I love it. I love the easel. That's neat. So that's the Atelier. And let me see what I have for flowers. Okay, so here are the flowers that um, Julie chose for, uh, to go with this collection, and she does such a great job with these. So this is um, Sunshine. These are 49 in market. The ones that I've been showing you previously were um, Prima, uh, but these are both 49 in market, and I like these flowers. Um, so the yellow one is Sunshine, and the white one's called Snow. And you can find both of these on our site. Okay, journal is what's next. Okay, look at this. Oh, they, they do such lovely things with clock, with their clocks. And then we've got a couple of flower packs. So this is the Graphic 45, um, I think it's called, yeah, uh, Ivory and Linen. And I like the Graphic 45 uh, flowers. They're very nice. They really hold up well, too. Uh, and here's some Prima. And the Prima flowers are Magic Love is the color. And uh, both of those are available on our site. Let's go ahead and take a look at the paper. <laughs> okay, so I like all the collections so far. This is this is pretty, too. It's, it's very soft, very romantic looking. I could see, you know, an anniversary... Um, even a wedding out of this paper. This is very pretty. Lovely, lovely. Very soft. Romantic looking. And then, but they've got some of these bold features, which are very nice to have to, to give you a little oomph uh, and um, some contrast. Yeah, this would be a very lovely um, wedding album or anniversary especially with the clock and time anniversary. As time goes by, you can see that. Um, these are beautiful. <laughs> Look at those. Oh my, what would I do with those? I definitely would fussy cut some of those apart. And you can see, like, this would make for just a, a very simple 12 by 12 page layout. You could add some little photos here just as it is and then maybe add a couple of the cut aparts. Wow, I love this. I really like this. I would probably wind up featuring these on pages um, in the, in a mini album. Oh, look at all the cut aparts here. These are really pretty. Very pretty. The jewel's kind of fun. 
Okay, so that is journal. Very romantic collection. Very romantic. I love it. Okay, and then the last collection I'm going to show you is Sweet Dreams. And I think she had some flowers that she thought went with this too. And I, I think I've got them mixed up. Well, some of them go with multiple collections. Yeah, here it is. Yes. So this one goes with um, Sea Dreams and Threads, and I, I like it with both. This green, this is the Prima, and I think it's called My Sweet, yeah. This is just pretty color in general, but you can see how it's pulling out the greens. And I like the idea of the green because there is a lot of blue already, so I don't think I'd want to put a blue flower on top of this. Uh, but I think the green works. I think white would work as well, or off-white. Okay, so it's the Sea Dream. Take me to the sea. Pretty, pretty. So this is a nice vacation collection. Oh, look at those. I love it. So these look like, um, you know, the animals look like watercolors and they're very pretty. And the color is really saturated. That's not always the case with Stamperia. These are quite saturated though, so they're, they look very rich. Okay, beautiful. That's gorgeous. That's really pretty. So you could really, you could put an oval photo in here or you could do a cutout and have it slide behind it. Or you could even have it hinged and open up. <clears throat> These make um, for really pretty embellishments. Most of the time it's rectangular or square. It's nice to have circle um, to add to sort of an, a more organic feel to it. Um, don't find a lot of right angles in nature. <laughs> So this is very pretty. This is very pretty. I love it. I love it. Okay, you guys, I want to hear from me what's your favorite collection. Because, of course, whatever the favorite one is, is probably what the next project will be. Seashore, lovely. This is lovely. I love all the collections. Um, I really do love all the collections. I do. I don't know which one I, I prefer. I'm really liking the journal. I think it's very romantic for um, a wedding. Uh, even though it says journal, I just think it's very uh, soft and romantic. But I, I really like all of them. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Let us know which one's your favorites. And they're all available in the shop right now. And Julie gave me this little printout so I don't forget anything because I often do. Um, <clears throat> So I didn't show you the clear die cuts for Passion, but we do have those. They're available in the shop. Um, we also have collectibles for pas Passion, Voyages Fant Fantastic, and then also new for Voyages Fantastic is an 8x8 collection pack and die cuts. So when they originally released that, we didn't have die cuts and the 8x8 pack. Sometimes when they're really popular, they'll come back and offer it in an 8x8. So we have that now. And let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to go over that real quick. We've got Amazonia, Passion, Atelier, Journal, Sea Dreams, and Threads. And they're all available in the shop right now. And I'm going to give you one last quick look at the collections. Romantic Collections, which is Sea Dream and Journal. Got the Atlier, the threads, passion, which is for your dancers, and then we've got this, this beautiful safari paper. So that is everything uh, new and in our shop right now. You guys come over and take a look around. And again, um, even though I didn't go through uh, all of the extras with all the other collections, those are available in the shop as well. So take a look. Thanks for tuning in and um, joining us for this Stamperia product reveal. And um, like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. What's your favorite? See you soon. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create.